Hi guys and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So this video is not strictly about a ham radio device or gadget, but it's about a possible solution for a Shack computer. Now this is the Geekom IT12 2025 edition, and it's just one of the many possible mini computers you could use in your Shack or even portable, assuming you had the correct power supply, of course. Now the power supply that comes with the IT12 is a mains wall adapter and that outputs 19 volts DC. Now this one that I have here runs a 12th gen Intel Core i7 processor and it has 12 cores and 16 threads. It can also run up to 4.7 gigahertz in boost mode. Now you can choose which memory you would like when you order it, but mine has 32 gigabytes of DDR4. It also uses a PCIe Gen 4 SSD with one terabyte on board. Now the storage in the memory is actually upgradable. It's not fixed like we see on other models. And if interested, I'll show you where those upgrades can be made. Now when it comes to ports, it has three USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports. It has one USB 2 port and four USB 4 ports. It also has an SD card reader built in along with a 3.5 mm headphone socket and a 2.5 GBE LAN port. Now Windows 11 Pro came pre-installed, which supports two monitors at the same time, and that utilizes the two HDMI ports that's located on the rear of the IT12. Now talking about upgrades, if you do want to upgrade it in the future, add in other storage drives, etc., then you only need to remove the bottom plate. Now you'll see the SSD and RAM here, which is easily removed or replaced or changed for something better. There's also a blank space in the bottom plate where you can just add a regular SATA drive if you want to. Now what I like about the IT12 after using it for a while is that it's extremely compact and it actually packs a punch in performance. Now it does have just an Intel Iris Xe graphics integrated GPU and you're not going to be playing those AAA games at full spec. But for my use case, I wanted to test how well SDR applications work. Now with a HackRF connected to one of the USB ports and using SDR console set to a 20 megahertz bandwidth, SDR console ran super smooth on the IT12. Now there was no lag, the application loaded and ran really quickly and I was able to move around the bands without any hesitation or laggy experience on the screen. Now listening to 20 megahertz of RF bandwidth at the same time is no easy task and as I was performing this test I was curious about the resources used. With Task Manager open it appeared that while running SDR console connected to my hack RF with 20 megahertz of bandwidth the CPU was using around 11%. The GPU, however, was only using around 16%. Now performing the same test, but with OBS, which is a streaming and screen recording application, running at the same time only pushed the GPU up to around 50% and the CPU up to around 20%. Now the whole reason for me getting another mini PC was because the one I used in my conservatory for remote usage when connecting to SDRs and antennas used to suffer with the CPU maxing out just running a couple of megahertz bandwidth. So after these tests with the IT12, I was actually quite pleasantly surprised and quite happy that it was money well spent. Now I cannot think of any other ham radio application which would use more resources than an SDR application. So running other applications like WSJTX or MMS TV or Chirp or Log for Old Men Logger, they were all handled by the IT12 very, very well. In fact, I'm actually starting to think that this actually might be a bit of an overkill for my needs, but it's nice to have the headroom. Now, I would have liked to see this running on 12 volts DC though, instead of the 19 volts DC that we get from the 90 watt mains power supply. I think that would have been awesome, especially if you're going to be using it mobile or portable, 
but I guess with portable battery packs that have mains inverters built in, they're so cheap these days, so it's not really a big issue. Now the examples that I'm showing you here with the LCD monitor and the wireless keyboard and wireless mouse, it all just makes a really nice solution. So taking this on holiday is not really a problem. It won't actually take that much space. But then you might think to yourself, well, why don't I just use a laptop? Well, that's a very good question. And I don't really have a good answer for that. But anyway, there you go. That's the Geekom IT12 mini computer. It's the 2025 edition. And by now, probably there's probably even other versions available. So I'll leave some links in the description if you want to go and check them out. Now, if you can think of any other applications which are pretty GPU or CPU intensive that are related specifically to ham radio, then let us know down in the comments below. I really want to test it out and see if I can get it to fail or not work on something. But like I said earlier, I think running SDR applications at wide bandwidth is definitely one of the good tests to perform. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.